you. All right, well, good morning, everybody. Uh, it's glad to have you here today on this uh, special occasion as we uh, name our new Northeast Recycling Center for former Commissioner Tim Nance. Uh, for those of you that don't know me, and it better not be anybody in this room, uh, <laughs> these are all staff, you know. Just, uh, um, I have the pleasure not only of serving as the county manager, but uh, the added pleasure of serving as the master of ceremonies today. So uh, without further ado, we're going to turn this over to Commissioner McDaniel uh, to do the welcome and the pledge. Commissioner, good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning, everybody. Uh, as uh, our, our uh, county manager said, I am Bill McDaniel, your county commissioner for District 5, and had the honor of following my friend through this job. And, in the, and on a little cute story, Leo, last week, Mayor Barnett is up for re-election. And on Tuesday of our board meeting, they had a fundraiser for him that night down in Port Royal. And uh, I happened to be there. And after he spoke, I hopped up. I asked the, asked the host if it was OK if I said a few words for our friend, the mayor. And I got up on the step and I started off. I said, and there's a bunch of people there. I said, how many people know me? Crickets. One lady, <laughs> one lady went like this. <laughs> so it just is a. It's a, it's an interesting thought process as to who in fact does and doesn't know what you do and how you do. Um, from a welcome standpoint, I, I, I just want to say thank you, Commissioner. Uh, this facility wouldn't be what it is if it wasn't for your knowledge, expertise and uh, input into the functionality of this facility. Dan, you recall how, how much of a, a, a process that Commissioner Nance assisted us with, with the functionality of this particular facility. And I, I just want to say thank you. With that, will you all rise? There's a flag <laughs> hanging over there. And Commissioner, will you lead us in the pledge? Yes, sir. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. And with that, I'm going to introduce my colleague, for those of you who don't know him, <laughs> Commissioner Solis. The wandering commissioner. Yeah, yeah. The wandering commissioner. <laughs> Challenge. Right. I, I admit to relying upon technology a little too much. I was nearby. I was just at the other end over there going, I think that's where I'm supposed to be. But anyway, um, welcome and, and congratulations, Commissioner Nance, for uh, what you've done, what, what you did and your dedication to making this facility what it is uh, and, and addressing a, a real need, I think, that was, uh, that we had. And, and, in District 5. Um, I would like to, to, to say a couple of things, uh, mainly that uh, Commissioner Nance, I think, is really one of the best public servants, I think, that, that the county's ever had. Um, my, my own personal story is that I, when I was elected in 2016, um, uh, I, my election was actually done in August, so I had already been elected. Uh, the other commissioners had to go on till November, and, and Commissioner Nance called me and said, uh, if, if you know who is going to be your assistant at the county, uh, you know, why don't you let, the, I'll bring her on, Angela Goodner, and, and, uh, and kind of show her the ropes and, and, uh, and show her the process, uh, which was invaluable to me because then when I got into office, um, you know, uh, we knew what we were doing, at least Angela did. Uh, <laughs> we thought we did. But, you know, that's just an example, I think, of, of the kind of public servant. He didn't need to do that, and I, I, I appreciate that today. I mean, that, was, that really meant a lot to me, uh, to go out of your way and just offer that to, to help uh, an incoming commissioner that didn't know what he'd gotten himself into. <laughs> so, so thank you so much for that. Um, and I'm here to present uh, the plaque. Uh, it's the Tim Nance Collier County Recycling Center, serving the public and the environment, dedicated in honor of Commissioner Tim Nance, District 5, 2012 to 2016. 
Thank you. Thank you very much. Tim, why don't you speak, and then I'll, I'll close up. Okay. Well, thank you very much. I can't, I can't tell you how unexpected this is, and it's actually funny because I'm a person that actually has been recycled several times. I mean, <laughs> how many times do you find a farmer that decided he wanted to run for commissioner? I, I don't know anybody that's done that, but, but uh, you know, it was, it was my greatest honor. And it, it's my, certainly my pleasure to meet with you today. And so many of you have been so kind and had so many uh, kind remarks over the years about me, who is a person that's generally uh, known to be grumpy on occasion beyond all reasonability. So I do appreciate that, and you all are very kind. Uh, this, per <clears throat> this particular facility was of interest to me because uh, living in the country, out in District 5, way out here, um, I see every day what gets thrown out in the woods because people don't have a place to take it or don't know what to do or are unaware or whatnot. And Collier County is blessed in that it has some of, at this time, has some of the really best recycling facilities I know of in Florida or anywhere. If you go traveling around and try to get rid of something, you'll find out that these facilities just don't exist. So. Um, I was lucky enough in my career to have a uh, responsibility to build factory and production floors, so I did know a little bit about it. <clears throat> and I wanted to make sure that the facilities uh, that were built in the future were the best that we could possibly get. And I wasn't really impressed with some of the ones that we had at that time because the flow wasn't good. And the most important thing to me is that these Facilities are efficient and effective, but they're also very safe places for the county employees that work here and handle these products have a safe place to work. And I think that, that this place certainly is that, and it's real easy for people to access. So it's a good thing. And if I played a little part in having a good result that's going to have a long-term benefit, then I'm delighted, and it's, uh, it's my greatest honor to be able to just to add a little bit of something. I was making a joke with Mr. Rodriguez. I said, uh, I was talking to you with some of the staff members today, and I told them that I thought you'd finally forgiven me for making you redesign this thing. <laughs> and, uh, time is a healer, but I'll tell you what, uh, Dallas Disney that I think you worked with at the time did a magnificent job uh, designing it, and it, it, you know, it speaks for itself. You won't, you won't find something like this anywhere, so. Thank you so much to you. You all have been very kind to me. Being in your service and working with the employees at Collier County has been my greatest honor. Thank you very much. Um, I, I was trying to think of what to say today and realizing that you are moving you're moving away from Collier County, where you have lived for how many years? Ever. Yeah, since there was dirt. <laughs> since there was dirt. <laughs> and, and thinking that this truly is a new chapter for you. And so often we, when we are presented with change, profound change, like moving out of an area we've lived in for years and years and years, there's a, a little angst. But I am I'm, I'm confident that you will make your mark wherever you go. And I think it's so fitting to have this recycling center named uh, after you because you spent your life as a farmer understanding the value of the land, understanding the importance of keeping it clean, and of, of keeping land for the future. So this recycling center is for our future. Thank you. Thank you very much. All right, so uh, again, we're going to close the ceremony. Uh, I just want to say, Commissioner, on behalf of the staff, um, everybody knows during your service on the commission was a time of uh, considerable animosity, and, and it was tough sometimes getting things done because of, of that animus. But uh, I can tell you, uh, without exception, everybody on the staff always knew that no matter what kind of information they needed to deliver to the county commission that 
there was one person on that commission that was always going to treat them professionally and with respect and with civility, and that was you. And uh, on behalf of the staff, we just want to thank you for your service to county government and wish you great success in the future. Thank Congratulations. You. All right, so uh, that concludes the ceremony. I understand we've got some refreshments. Inside. Inside, so everybody uh, come on and join us for some refreshments. Thank you.